Okay, welcome back to, we're talking about more Smash 5 rosters. This is just some random roster I found on the internet, so this will be SSB 5 roster review number 2. First, let's go over Mario characters. No, let's click out the roster. Let's click out the roster. Okay. Mario characters, we don't have to talk about any of these guys right here. Because we all know they're going to be returning. There we go. We have a better version right now. Okay, now we go to Captain Toad. Uh, Captain Toad. Nintendo has been giving him his own games. But the same thing with Paper Mario. So both both of these guys characters have an even playing field when it comes to being in Smash. Paper Mario had that color splash game, but I think Captain Toad is actually more lucky than Paper Mario. But Paper Mario could be his, his like Kyoshi and Wario his own series. Next up is Yoshi series. Um, Kamek. I don't think they're gonna add a new Yoshi character. They haven't done for the last four games. I doubt they'll add another representative for the Yoshi series. I'll be honestly shocked if they did add another Yoshi rep. Wario, uh, well, um, um, Wario is for Wario Well, not the Wario Land series, so I don't think they'll ever add Captain Syrup. Number one, there is no new Wario Land se- games as Wario Well. Well, Game of Wario, and now it's gonna be, um, Wario Well Gold. I think Wario is way more likely to be a second Wario rep than Captain Syrup. That's all I'm saying. Next is Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong, they get these guys put Dixie Kong and King K. Wool. I don't think they would add two more Donkey Kong reps. I think I only think they would add one of the two. Not um, F Zero. I don't think they'll add no new, new F Zero characters. I know that's what you probably want, more F-Zero characters, but I think until they, until they release another F-Zero game, there won't be any more F-Zero games. And seeing how Nintendo is, they probably will never release another F-Zero game. Next are all the retro characters. Um, I don't mind them. The All four of the current ones will return. Yes, and Green Ice Climbers, because Ice Climbers is only cut because of technical difficulties. Takamao might be a new character in E-Type. I don't know who that is. Zelda characters. The only character I have a problem with is Winkle. Um, first of all, Winkle is just a female wink. That's all That's all she is. So she'll basically be a clone character. And I don't like clone characters. It, like, Toon Link is different enough from Wink to be a clone, not to be a full clone character. And the problem with Winkle is Winkle is a is a it sort of just be a costume for Wink, and not and but they putting Winkle on the roster. Like why? Why why would you put this character that probably nobody likes on the roster? Next is Metroid. Um, as I said before, I don't think Ridley will be in Smash Brothers. I, 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 Sakurai explained why he'll never put Ridley in Smash Brothers. Next is Kid Icarus. I do not think they will move Kid Icarus because, not Kid Icarus, Dark Pit. Because Dark Pit is a villain of Kid Icarus. And kind of like Falco and Gan, kind of like Falco before, um, in Melee, they, they could just de-clone him into a semi-clone. Like Falco... That, like Falco was. Next is CB Robo. Um, I don't know. I think that CB Robo is too obscure. CB Robo did get a few games in between, but I think CB Robo is still too obscure to put onto the roster. But he's a decent toy, nonetheless. Next is Banana D. Yeah, that's so, that's a really great choice to add back in Smash Bros. Banana D is basically. We need another. We, like. We'll have the four main characters on Kirby's Return to Dreamland, and the new Kirby game is Bedanity. Um, next is Star Fox. Uh, I would add back Wolf. 
I'm surprised that of all the forces that were viewed, I haven't seen Crystal from South Fox One bet. That's because they removed Wolf and people want Wolf back, surprisingly, instead of Crystal. Next is um, Fire Emblem. Um, they were, they have Moth, Ike, Ma, Robin, and Corn. Um, I actually don't agree with this a little bit because people will be mad if Roy got removed. People will be pissed if Ike got removed and Ike is actually the second most popular Fire Emblem character in the <laughs> entire series. So people will basically be pissed if Ike got removed. Same thing if they removed Captain Falcon. People would, that would be the day or note when Smash 5 flopped and they, when they removed, as when they removed Captain Falcon from the roster. Robin and Corrin. Robin basically bring, brings fresh air to Fire M characters being normally swordman and Corrin represents Fire from Fates. Well, Mac, people wanted him in the game. People would be angry if Will Mac got removed, but I think a lot of these characters, people would be angry if they got removed. First of all, it's Pokemon. People would be angry if Ganenza and Mewtwo and Wakario. And yes, even Zigglypuff got removed. So, it would just make sense just to add another Pokemon like Decidueye or Sceptile or Blaziken. Not another for Okay, first of all, if you're adding new Pokemon, do not add another first gen. We already have four first gen Pokemon. That's over representing first gen. I would add either a second generation Pokemon, a third generation Pokemon, a fifth gen Pokemon, or a seventh gen Pokemon, or even an eighth gen Pokemon. That's why I've always wanted to remove Jigglypuff because there's too many first generation Pokemon. Um, Earthbound, or we're not talking about that because those characters. Um, Ness, but I, Ness would probably stay, but Lucas is probably iffy. Um, the only reason why people wanted him is because people demanded him to be back in the game, and they just put him in as DLC. I don't really see Lucas returning. And it, it isn't the first time where a character in Smash has been two Smash Bros. games were removed. Ice Climbers was removed, but that was only the technical difficulties of the 3DS. But Lucas, the only, he just returned as DLC. I, don't, I only see Lucas returning as a DLC character, no no more than that. Next is Xenoblade. I think it'll be like Fire Emblem or Star Wars, like one character, that, but that series gets more popular to add like more characters. And Sarko got kind of be like the face of Xenoblade, as he was in like the first game. Isaac, hmm. He's kind of like 50-50. I don't know if he'll be in the game. Golden Sun hasn't been on any consoles for a while. I don't believe he'll be in the game because Golden Sun hasn't been in the game for a while on any 